mother told me God would always be with me. But it was important that he know I wanted him with me. My mother believes police are angels. I know a lot of us fall short of the calling. But I remember the night my mother had to walk home from the diner where she worked. She couldn't afford to take the bus, so she had to walk down Main. A man stepped out of the night. He always stepped out of the night. He saw her short skirt. Her boss insisted she wear a short skirt. It would make the people buy more. This man told her what he wanted. right here. What he would pay. I know you need it. It'll be fun. You okay, ma'am? No. I have to pay for it. I'm just gonna take it for free. God, please help me. <laughs> he ain't gonna help you. Nobody helps anybody. Nobody cares about anybody. Ain't that right, buddy? I was only five years old when Officer Angel brought my mother home. I was up playing. I was supposed to have been asleep. I heard voices in the kitchen. My mother sounded like a little girl talking, trying not to cry. Officer Angel's voice sounded like it was from heaven. His voice was so kind and gentle. I had to see him before he left. He was ugly, overweight, balding. His nose looked like he had been broken more than once. He looked down at me. I was a little kid. I said the first thing on my mind. I said, you're funny looking. My mother was about to die. In that angelic voice, he said, For the Lord sees not as man, for man looks on outward appearance, but the Lord looks to the heart. I have a beautiful heart. God gave me that. That's why I'm a cop. My mother believes angels, police. Have no fear. I wonder what she would think if she could see me now. When every time we pull out guns, I fear something will go wrong. It only takes one pound of pressure, one finger, and all hell breaks loose. Now, let's go through this again. I already told you the story three times. It ain't gonna change. Tell me again. Mmm. It's ironic that the color of my salvation is white. I'm all right, said Edmund, but this was not true. He was feeling very, very sick. Come on, then, said Lucy. Let's find the others. What a lot we shall have to tell them, and what wonderful adventures we shall have now that we're all in it together. One more chapter? No more chapters. You know the drill. Let's go. And now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. But if I die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. Um, God, this is Jimmy Bocelli. And please watch out for my daddy tonight. And I promise that I will eat anything nasty that Mommy finds in that cookbook. Amen. Amen. Tumble time? Okay, tumble time. Come on. Let's go. Okay. Two more time? No, no more time. Let's go. There we go. Good night, monkey. College gonna get me one of these? Nah. I've been lied to about the importance of education. Frederick Douglass believed education was the key to freedom, and at the time it was. And for many of us, it still remains that way. Real money and power are losing it. Yeah, man, basic. Can you live where your children can play without fear of being hooked? I do not prey on children, but some of my colleagues do. And I believe the right to consume drugs is a choice made by adults. All right, man. You know, the question put to every black man is, 
So what you doing to further the race? Right, right. You never see a white guy say, hey, Charlie, your new yacht is really moving the white race ahead in a positive way. <laughs> I'm doing like the white man. Mm -hmm. I am furthering myself, gaining power, acquiring money, and a status of fear. And with that, I will achieve the American dream. Hey, baby, come on, you're supposed to be in bed. There must be a billion dollars in there, Dad. Uh, not by a long shot, honey. It's enough to get us comfortable, though. Remember, money can't buy everything, and who wants everything, right? Sure can buy a lot, though, and we could use a lot. Could it buy me a Ferrari? Yeah, but you can't drive. We'll get a driver, too, but... He has to be good looking and speak Spanish. Oh, I gotta keep my eyes on you, young lady. Can I touch it? Well, let's see. Okay. <laughs> see, you know what the most addictive drug is? Are you gonna say coffee? Yeah, nicotine and caffeine. But acceptable in this society, and therefore legal. I swear. I've seen people almost knocking me down trying to get to a coffee house. Well, I've seen them. Eyes wide, hands all shaking. Can't get through the day without the first cup. If caffeine was outlawed, this would be seven kilos of fresh ground. All right. You see businessmen on the street. <laughs> Can I get some espresso beans? Just a taste. Just a taste. People be in the back alley filling into the rim. It'd be prohibition all over again. People getting killed. Very true. Don't go. Love that. Yeah, well, Mommy doesn't know about this yet. And don't you ruin the surprise, okay? Okay. Now, when I come home tonight, I'll tuck you in, and you can tell me all about how you want your room to be. I want a big bed with lots Jimmy, of stuff. Jimmy, when I get home, come on, come on. Let's go. What if you don't come home? Don't worry. I'll always come home. Now, get on. What about the Jimmy. time when... Hey, Grandma, get on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Will you bring me my Ferrari? Yeah. Jessica, bedtime for you, little lady. Come on. But Daddy said I could wait up for him. Kevin? Well, it won't be long. It's no big deal, honey. Come on. Plus, I like it when she's up when I come home. Please, Mom. Please, Mommy. Please, Mommy. To your room. Yes, that means that I can stay up. Give me a kiss. Okay, go. Good night, billion dollars. And please don't forget my Ferrari. Shh. What was that? Sorry, I gotta go. What, Mickey? Why did you let her see that? No, no, Mickey. What was all that about money? We sure could use a lot. Kevin, that's not you. What, are you spying on me? <sighs> Can't spend any time with Jimmy alone lately without you looking over my shoulder. Why are you yelling at me? Mickey, I wasn't yelling. Kevin, I'm not stupid. I know when I'm being yelled at like a little kid. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't have time for this. Give me a few minutes, please. You drive fast anyway. I'm driving. The cops catch me. Kevin, don't me. worry about the cops. I'm worried about you. I'm worried about us. That's more important than the money or the cops. That's the most important thing in my life. Mickey, it's not the time. How much is this worth to you, huh? Can I have five minutes of your time? Stack per minute. Kevin, I've never been scared to talk to you before. And I see you now with Jimmy, and you're talking to her like you love this stuff. This used to be what you did, and now it's who you are. I was joking with him. I know when you're joking, Kevin. She's going to be dreaming about a Ferrari, and she can't even spell Ferrari. It's too easy to get seduced by this stuff. That's what I loved about you. You never seem to care about it. Love. I still love and you. You said love. You know what I meant. See, my mind's not on the I want to slip up. Kevin, you didn't slip up. Mickey, I can't think about this. Kevin! Mickey! 
I can't have this discussion now. Well, when can I talk okay, to you? You never heard. You didn't say anything, not a damn thing. I please. wanted to, Kevin. I wanted to. Mickey. Because, come on, I gotta go, and I want to know everything's okay before. Bring a case full of money into this house again and then talk to her about buying a Ferrari when we can't even afford to pay the mortgage. I will hurt you, Kevin. As much as I love you, I will hurt you. Is that clear? Settle. Man, this ain't exactly his neighborhood. Oh, I'm certain of that. But I like when things go by quickly. The quicker things go along, the less chance there is of something going wrong. <laughs>